Hi guys, it's May 5, 2015. Six FDA approved foods banned in other countries. Why would other countries ban foods that our FDA has approved as not harmful for Americans, but other countries are banning them? Do they know something we don't know? Do they have, oh, shabby science and they just don't know what they're doing, but the FDA, they really know what they're doing? So they've approved these foods for us? No. It's actually because our government is poisoning us. Poisoning us. Before I read the six foods, I just want to point out this document, which I will be doing a video on because it deserves its own attention. It's very important, this document. It's on StopTheCrime.net. And what I like about StopTheCrime.net is that it puts in PDF form the documents that are very, very important for everybody to read. But in case people don't have time to read documents that are very long, this one in particular is 51 pages, StopTheCrime.net has actually lifted excerpts that are really important for everybody to read and places them in the first couple of pages before the document. But I just want to read this one paragraph because it relates to this, the FDA approving foods that are banned in other countries. What is that paragraph? Chemical and polypharmaceutical saturation has been achieved over the past 20 years of implementation with this purpose in mind. That purpose for mind control. Yes, chemical and polypharmaceutical saturation has been achieved over the past 20 years of implementation for this purpose in mind and is achieved by deliberate overt introduction through exposure or consumption, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> or consumption on behalf of the population base in everyday usage of public water supplies, airborne pollutants, and chemical agents in a wide variety of foodstuffs. Any adult American who can't see that we are absolutely being poisoned today through our water supply, through what we're breathing in the air, being sprayed 24-7 with toxic chemicals, and due to the wide variety of dangerous substances that they're putting in our food supply, they're obviously gone. They've been they have, that's the sentence that relates to them. The chemical and polypharmaceutical saturation has been achieved for mind control. So what are those? Six foods? Olean, found in fat-free foods. Many Americans get suckered into eating olean, also known as olestra, because they purchase fat-free foods, hoping to get their junk food fix without the extra calories. The only problem is that oleum isn't processed by the human body and can lead to diarrhea while interfering with the absorption of important fat soluble vitamins such as A, D, E, and K. So go for some baked potato chips if you're looking for a healthier chip option and just skip the oleum. Wow, 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 fat free. Wow. Farm-raised salmon. Australia and New Zealand have banned farm-raised salmon because most of them are bred with lots of antibiotics. If you haven't heard, antibiotic resistance is on the rise and it is partly due to toxic chemicals like glyphosate. But especially due to antibiotic overuse in our food, glyphosate is one of the ingredients in Roundup, Monsanto. Our food supply is pretty well saturated with glyphosate. In fact, the EPA has just raised the level of glyphosate that can be sprayed as an herbicide on our foods, on our produce, all over. Uh, yeah, the EPA has allowed even more spraying of pesticides and herbicides on our foods. It's deliberate. They want us dead. Farm-raised fish are also pumped full of chemicals to make them grow bigger and faster and even to be more pleasant, have a pleasant color to consumers. 
So when you eat farm-raised salmon, you're eating a whole lot more than just fish. Isn't it great? How, how dare we do this to these species, but, <laughs> you know, and Fukushima, remember Fukushima, okay. Drinks made with flame retardants, Mountain Dew. It sounds pretty disgusting, doesn't it? Europe and Japan have banned drinks that contain bromated vegetable oil, BVO, used in the U.S. in products like Mountain Dew in order to keep the citrus flavor evenly distributed throughout the soda. Originally, chemical companies made BVO as a flame retardant. It can cause reproductive problems, depress the nervous system, interrupt the endocrine system, and create behavioral problems, especially in children. But no problem, we've got polypharmaceuticals. We can give them ADHD drugs on top of giving them Mountain Dew. Maybe think about skipping anything containing BVO. I mean, do you really want to drink flame retardant anyhow? 160 countries banned rectopamine meat. I don't know if that's the correct pronunciation, but it sounds pretty horrible. While banned in many nations, the USDA says this drug is just fine. Rectopamine is a drug used to reduce fat content. <laughs> to create leaner meats in pigs, cattle, and turkeys. The U.S. doesn't test for this chemical in our meat, even though it causes chromosome, chromosomal changes, heart disease, hyperactivity, and more. You know this stuff is vile. If almost everywhere but the U.S. has banned it. But the U.S. has not banned it. Okay. Want to avoid it? Grass-fed beef is naturally lean and is much better and is a much better alternative. Milk and dairy containing RGBH. This hormone given to dairy cows to make them produce more milk is so vile that the EU, Canada, Israel, New Zealand, and Australia have all banned it. A total of 27 countries have in fact said that they will not put Monsanto's genetically engineered hormone in their dairy products. The synthetic hormone is created using molecules and DNA sequences, sequences that are a result of molecular cloning, which has been linked to breast and gastrointestinal cancer. Genetically modified organisms, of course. The list of foods that contain GMOs in the U.S. is long. In fact, they started planting the, U, uh, the GMOs, I think, back in the mid-90s. GMOs, a lot of people think that GMOs just arrived on the scene. No, they have actually been saturating our food supply with GMOs for, well, about 20 years. Oh, 20 years polypharmaceutical and chemical saturation has been achieved over the past 20 years. So, the U.S. is one of the only industrialized nations that doesn't at least label our foods. A minimum of 165 million acres are currently planted with GMOs in the United States. In Europe, all products containing more than 0.9% GMO are labeled as such. But no such luck in the United States. Thankfully, this is changing. Vermont just won a labeling victory, and other states are likely soon to follow. However, Vermont's victory is already being attacked by Monsanto. All righty, guys. <sighs> What can I say? Have a great night and see you soon.